Hi, it's Brad from WPSites.net, Solutions for WordPress. Uh, this is a video about how to make a, a header for WordPress, uh, which, is, which is very straightforward if you've got the right tools. I'm using uh, Paint.net, which is uh, it's free software, but sort of like a stepping stone between uh, Paint, MS Paint, and uh, and Adobe Photoshop, which is which is quite uh, quite um, quite complex. Adobe Photoshop, so uh, it can take a long time to learn. The learning curve is quite high. So uh, grab yourself Paint.net if you're a Windows user, and uh, it's a fantastic tool. And I'll show you how to make a header for WordPress. So uh, I've written a post about it here so uh, you can find this post and it's got a link in there and uh, but it's pretty straightforward you just download it and install it um, and now here it is here paint.net so I'll open it up now we're just going to make a very simple header for WordPress so we'll go on the top left here and click on file click on new and we have to determine the size of the header so if you log into the back of WordPress and you go to your header section, it'll tell you pretty much uh, what sort of width and height your header is. Um, but uh, it doesn't have to be the same size because uh, if, if you use the same background color, it can be smaller. So let's, for example, we'll just go 600 here as the width and, uh, and for the height, we'll go 100. So there it is, there's the background for the header. Um, next we want to put some text in, uh, so we go to tool here, and in the drop down we'll scroll down to uh, text. Um, now, I don't want to use basic black, which is the default colour, I want to use a, um, something that uh, fits in with my site. Uh, so I know exactly what the hex code colours are, so I click on window up here, up the top, just go down to colours. Uh, now click on more and if, you, if you've got a hex color chart which you can just type in a Google and access one you'll, uh, you can work out which colors you've got okay so I know the gray color on my site's 464646 so I'll use that as the primary color okay um, now size, I want to change the size of the fonts here, so I'll make it say, uh, I'll make it say 24, I don't want Arial, I think that's a bit boring, I want to use something a bit different, <coughs> so let's have a look here, Basketville Old Face, this is what I want to use, because this font's very similar to, uh, Mrs. Eve's, is what, is, which is what the WordPress, uh, people use. So just type in some text here. I'll just use this as an example. I want to bold this too, actually. And I'll make it a bit smaller. I'll make it 20. And what's going on here? Caps locker. So just type some text in. Okay. Solutions for WordPress. Alright, now what we can do is uh, just put a couple of spaces there. We can put an image in. So if you've got your logo made up, I'll just use uh, I'll just use one of the WordPress logos just as an example. You can just drag it across here, click on add layer, and that'll add it in. Now we have to move it because I don't want the image there. So I'll just expand this. Uh, go back to the tool menu. Click on move selected pixels. And we can just drag this across. And you can be a bit sort of fussy about this, a bit pedantic and, and, and choose exactly where you want to put it. But uh, I'm just going to place it there. This S should be a capital, but I'm not going to change that. Uh, now we'll click on File, 
and I want to say this is a PNG or a GIF or a JPEG or something so I'll leave the name as untitled I'll, I'll save it to desktop and I'll just uh, I'll save this as a PNG because I think that's the best quality for images um, there's already one there I'll overwrite that click OK flatten and there we go There you have it. You know, there's a header for WordPress, and uh, and you can just trim this up a bit in Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Right, we'll go 200. I'll just trim a bit off the left, a bit off the bottom, and top. So there's the header, I can just upload that to WordPress and put that in. I, I could have made that a lot bigger. So you can see how easy it is to create a header um, using uh, paint.net. So, uh, so there you go. Cheers and uh, good luck.